Sean O'Malley made his entrance into the top of the division. He will be the number one ranked bantamweight in the world now going into this uh, fight. That's your guy, right? So I'm on the pivot. But That's RC. My guy. That's my guy. Sean O'Malley. He won the fight. But did Sean O'Malley win the fight, Ryan Clark? DC, I'm going to be honest. Here's what I expected. I expected 29-28 Piotr Jan. That, that made mm -hmm. sense to me. And in the end, that's actually not a bad result for Sean O'Malley or the UFC. Let's be, first off, let's give Sean O'Malley his flowers, though. Sean O'Malley came to fight. And Sean O'Malley also proved a ton to himself, to the UFC. And I believe Piotr Jan and his people. You remember, DC, we were talking last week, and I think you were talking about Piotr Jan's manager that said, hold on, like, Sean O'Malley can't win, right? Yes. And obviously yes. he did. Obviously he did win, but he had to get to a point in that fight where he goes, oh, holy hell, Sean O'Malley can win. Sean O'Malley is that good of a fighter. He is that tough. Listen, we've never seen Sean O'Malley be, be hit the way he was against Piotr Jan. And these weren't your normal, oh, we're just going to throw the jab out there as a filler. He was hit with hooks. He was dropped. He was wobbled, mm -hmm. and Sean O'Malley continued to fight. I'd never seen him so gassed before. He was gassed, and he continued to dig as deep as he could into that tank against a championship-level fighter. But in the end, I thought Piotr Jan finding ways to get the takedown. I thought Piotr Jan leveling out the playing field as it came to the strikes and the significant strikes was huge. I will say this, though. The thing that I noticed right off of the bat, and I talked about this last week, D.C., because you mentioned Pedro Munoz. I said, Sean O'Malley cannot start slow and have that filling out process in the first round like he had against Pedro Munoz, and he did not. There was no fear. He was not scared. The moment was not too big for him. When you think about the fight and what Sean O'Malley earned, do you believe that this is about putting Sean O'Malley in place to fight for the bantamweight title? Or do the judges and what the UFC may want for a fighter not, not coincide at all? You know, Ryan, I agree with you. I thought Sean O'Malley fought well. I thought he did a really good job in showing the world and the masses that he does belong. And I said it on the broadcast, like, there are no more questions as to whether or not this kid is all fluff and he's all hype. He's earned a massive amount of respect. But... I did believe that Piotr Jan won the fight. I thought Piotr Jan did enough to win the fight. And speaking of Piotr's manager, uh, Ryan, he didn't get to that point. He actually thought they had won the fight comfortably. I watched Habib's reaction to Piotr Jan losing the fight, and he was uh, he could not believe that it was a, even a split decision. So many people, and I've spoken to fighters around the world since the decision, and all of them agree they thought that Piotr Jan won the fight. They think, Ryan that the judges were judging the fight based on Sean O'Malley's not supposed to be this competitive, so giving yeah, him credit makes for things that he was doing, even that, though they that weren't necessarily, even yeah. though they weren't necessarily uh, up to snuff to what Piotr Jan was doing. I don't know if I agree with that. He was almost, because if you flash to a like, scorecard... They're, they're, they're thinking he was graded on a curve, D.C., Right, you know, you like they're, they're thinking that, that Sean yes. O'Malley was judged on a curve, as in you're not supposed to be here, you're not supposed to be in this fight that much. So the fact that you're competing mm -hmm. at this level is going to give yep. you a leg up or going to give you some kudos. But here are the scorecards right here, DC. Yeah, yeah, you know, so I, I agree with you there, and I don't, I don't know if I agree with the judge, the, the the fighters, and it's based on this judge's scorecard on the left, Ben Cartledge. I respect Ben Cartlidge tremendously. I think he is one of the most smart judges in the entire world. I have no problem with David's card. I have no problem with Vito's card. I'm, I'm sorry. I have no problem with Vito's card. But it's the Cartlidge card that makes me go, maybe we need to watch this again. Because I know how good of a judge this guy is, Ryan Clark. This guy has helped me in terms of understanding judging when he didn't need to, when I didn't have a real vast understanding of the judging. I disagree with him on this one. But because of his card, it makes me go, maybe I'll take another look at it to see if I see it different 
on the second watch. But ultimately, right. you can take nothing away from either of these guys. You definitely can't take nothing away from Sean O'Malley. And Ryan, a little inside baseball, Piotr Jan is so disappointed in this decision. Piotr Jan is so disappointed in the decision against Aljo that I'm hearing word that this guy may want to look at something different down the line in terms of oh, his wow. career because he just does not feel like maybe the organization doesn't have his back. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.